What's up, old school gamers? It's old school fool, and today is old school's classic gaming theater is presenting Bubble Bobble by Taito back from 1988. Now that's a long ass time ago, and I'm here with Doom Raker. What's up? And I'm here with the front seat gamer. Yeah. yeah. And we're gonna get, uh, you know, we're pulling up our front seats as you can see, and we're gonna play some Bubble Bobble for all you guys out there who don't really know what this game's all about. Um, you know what? I don't know what to tell you because I don't know what this game's all about. <laughs> Man, this game's older than me. It's pretty sad. <laughs> but you know, it's a timeless classic. It's like characters have been featured in other puzzle games like Puzzle Bobble or Bust a Move. If you bubble want to Bobble, you know, the yeah. other versions of Bubble Bobble that yeah. they have. It's just been kind of an addictive game. And you know what? The coolest thing about it is is what is this right here. This is the coolest thing. The music. Yes. <laughs> the music in the game. It's also very rare for an NES game to have two player, especially. Two player at the same time. And even though we're not playing two player right this hot second, and I'm gonna die just for you. Look at that. Aww. It, it, somebody asked, who was it before? Like, what is this game like? Who well, in the right mind would have came up with a game like this? Oh, what's the, like the idea of this game? I think this, <laughs> uh, the idea of this game is really to, uh, to make people look tasty. Monsters look tasty, because everything turns into like a food product. <laughs> That's almost as bad as, you know, like Cookie Monster or something like that, just constantly eating cookies. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, the crazy part about it is it's two dragons or lizards or whatever that shoot bubbles and kill people with them. Look at that password. It's BAB. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty. Uh, Alright, we could. Days of the, you know, okay. older kind let's, of. Let's rock this two, two, two style. Alright. beginning of a fantastic journey. They don't actually tell you what the journey's about, they just tell you it's fantastic. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. that triple score right there. Look at that, man. I'm a master. Look at this. That's why they call me old school fool. The, these are... This is where I excel, right here. Oh. Dude, we're on the second stage. You already died. What's that? You died like twice in the first stage. This kind of way you <laughs> tried to die, but... It's cool about this game, you can actually like jump on the bubbles. Look at that. You can like double jump on the bubbles to get higher places. Uh, oh, conject! I wish I actually could. I wish I could actually put you in a bubble. <laughs> outside of the. Yeah, but that would. But that would consist of multiplayer and back. Uh, you know, competitive multiplayer. And that didn't really start until like stuff like Goldeneye. Yeah. Slappers only. Also, you know, if you pop the bubbles, you get 400 points. Dude. And what's up with the spelling of like there's like random letters? I feel like they they try to like be educational about it. What do you mean random first, letters? <laughs> I don't see anything about random oh, letters. Oh, look, look, it's an X on my on my side. I'm the green. Oh, um, are you I, supposed I, to go into it or? I don't know. Oh, it's extra. It's right. You get like an extra guy or extra stage or something like that. I don't know. I didn't read the instruction book. I don't remember it. Oh. Yeah, instructions are for sissies. That's the worst. Oh, the bubble gum. Oh, you got the bubble gum. You can actually, uh, I think your your bubbles go farther now. And you know, what? even though the track is looping over and over, it makes me so happy. Because like, I feel it, happy it, to play it's, it. It's you know the old stuff, man. You can't get much better than the old. You know, wow, that's kind of cool. If you fall down and you just, just come back up top. Yeah. Imagine if they did that at the Grand Canyon. That'd be awesome. <laughs> you could just like keep falling. And it goes on and on. <laughs> yeah. I actually heard like like five people a year die at the Grand Canyon. But it seems kind of silly because they, they have fall. a giant rail there to stop you from doing it. I know, but if you actually look at the sign, there's a sign there, and you just see the guy falling off the edge. But if they had the bowl bowl well, thing going on, you could just keep falling through it. <laughs> well, you have to think, you know, to, for that sign to be there, somebody would have had to do it. Just kind of like, you know, if you look into a car in the rotary and it says, don't put your hand here while operating. I think somebody had to have done that for that sign to be there. Don't, don't step on the bubbles if you don't want to get traveled. With the, uh, what is that? There's just a big wave of bubbles. Dude, this game gets really intense. Like, it starts to get intense like in like three stages. It's already intense. I'm my last guy. Wait, how many people? Where, where you know what the worst is? Is that I you, have no more guys left. What are you talking about, last guy? You know. <laughs> You know what the worst is? The worst is when, like, you see that you've actually done a good job. Ooh. 
and you want to get the rest of the uh, the fruit, and the sta and, just, and then the stage and the ends. bubble god just like pulls you away, and makes you. Damn you, bubble god! Wait, where is it? It's like stay on your side. Look at wow, the creative that's stage kind of a design. Weird. It's the ghost. <laughs> like, how are we supposed to nail the ghost if, if the bubbles end up getting? Go old school. Oh. That's ridiculous. Oh, what are you doing on my side of the ghost? Hey, look up you. It's kind of hard to control this stage. This, the stage design is nuts. Oh, and then you get angry. That's that's another thing too about classic games. You ever notice like when you it's the last guy on the stage or the time starts to run out, your opponent gets extra angry and, and just, then like, like yeah, he, he, he can like you know go for like ten times faster than he's supposed to go and you know he can just pretty much do whatever he wants to to end your life. Oh. Miserably. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm a machine. I'm machining this. Where am I at? Look at, oh, look, look, I look, look at my bubbles. Machine gun bubbles. Oh. 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 oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> Dude, I just single handedly d avoided all those guys. Do you want a cookie? <laughs> yes. I want oh. a piece of gum so I can chew on and blow bubbles. I think I have gum in my bag. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this game would be that much more fun to play if there was a bowling machine in the background going off? Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, no, I got another life. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, there he is, the last guy. He's extra red. Is that a whale? I don't know. It looks like whale plasma. Oh, whale fat. <laughs> whale fat with eyes. Did they sell also, that? also, if you hit A, it makes you slow down instead of falling down so quick. Oh, it kind of float right. You yeah. Tail wagon action. Kind of <laughs> like a uh, Super Mario action right there. Whale fat with eyes. Do you think they sell that? In the I don't store? even think they yeah. have eyes. I think this is like fat. Why yeah. is there a margarita bottle for a whale? I'm down. Ah, oh, oh, we both it's died. The gib. At least it is kind of like, you know. At least those passwords aren't so bad. Like old school games, all about the password saves. Yeah, because then at that point, you know, some of the older games will sit there and have like thirty digit codes they have to write down. Dude, and then... the worst one I've ever played had to be Legacy of the Wizard. Let's continue. I want to try this one time. So, round 12. Oh, round 12. Well, at least wow. we get this. Look at that. Yeah, we Happy don't even face. need the password. Look at that. We don't need to remember the big gib. We get to... to uh, <laughs> the big gib? Big gib. That's an interesting... <laughs> oh, man, dude, that might be stuck. You gotta... <laughs> hey, man, no pencil and paper. You gotta find a way to remember this stuff. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm stuck, buddy. Wa watch out, whale plasma. The red one's over there in the corner. Uh, stuck. <laughs> you gotta go yeah. over there. Oh, it sucks. The heck? And watch, he's gonna turn. Of course, he's gonna get out of the bubble. And why is he going up the side? Look at that glitch. You gotta love that. Yeah, I got stuck <laughs> in this corner over here. Oh yeah, you're screwed. This game screws you too. A lot of times, you just like you went up in the corner out of nowhere and you can't get out until you blow more bubbles and you can go up the side. Oh like this. look, this would have been great for Valentine's Day. Oh, let's see. Look at it. What are we supposed to get in there? Um. Oh, oh, you got her so warped! Dude, what'd you do? I don't know, I got something that looked like a uh, umbrella. Brownie this team. This is one messed up freaking level this right here. This looks like... Like Dig Dug almost. It's like a... To me, it looks like a... Pac-Man? It looks like a... No, it actually looks like big Twizzlers. Man, you're making hunt. You're making <laughs> like that. This is crazy. Dude, this game is awesome. Well, anyways... I'm totally, uh... I totally gotta live this back uh, later on. Oh, easy. I'm gonna try to beat this game later. Even though you it's realize that the game actually things. has no end to the levels, right? They're randomly generated. No, are they? Yeah, the Bubble Bobble is one of the few NES games that was completely randomly generated. So really, stuff like uh, all the levels that you see here, they they randomly oh. generate up to like 2,000 levels or something like that. Then after that, it's unpredictable. Uh, well, it's pretty unpredictable. I know one thing. I can predict me playing this game over and over. And with that being said, guys, Easy. I totally, totally hope you guys enjoyed our old school classic gaming theater. And uh, join us next time here uh, at the old school classic gaming theater for more old school goodness that you probably may or may not have known about. And join us in gaming. And once again, if you guys want to play these extra cool classic games, and I suggest you do, don't forget to check out 
DOSCheap.com where you can pick up your own versions of the classic game players and up close to classic games and check out DOSForUse.com where myself, the Frontsy Gamer, and of course my man to my left It's, uh, it's Doom Raker uh, will be uh, guiding you in what's good for gaming. Alright gurus, we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.